Hero, welcome back. Alphano sent word of the siege. And, of course, the role you played in ending it. Your deeds never cease to amaze me, Hero. Thank you. Alright, real quick, go ahead and accept that invite. Yeah. Party site, yes. There you go. Accept. Cutscene. Not voice. You must oh, be well. wary, Hero. And now may very well be your only chance to. Antecedent. There's been 17 deaths in the family. The cast got really lean and story friendly all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> any any day now, please. A messenger from Uldar arrived with a missive from you. What's that? You want more characters in a new location? <laughs> no. <laughs> Only if we leave all these ones behind. What's what? that? They're all coming with us? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to wear your voice out. The royal seal. Curious indeed. Was it on like a letter or? Uh, I mean, she did say it was a missive, so yeah, probably. Ah. Ah, an invitation. On behalf of the Council of the Eorzean Alliance, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo invites the Scions of the Seventh Dawn to attend a feast at the Royal Palace of Ulda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in lifting the siege. You for your valiant efforts as commander of the Adventurous Contingent, and the Archons for their earnest attempts to rouse the city-states. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders took, uh, should think themselves deserving of a place at such a celebration. All three refused to deploy their standing armies, preferring to send hastily assembled companies of sellswords, many of whom perished ere the siege began. Are they truly so brazen as to seek to share in the glory of your triumph? Yes. I, they have done yeah, that that's every what other they've time. they've been doing for, uh, yeah, for Not like they've ever, that? like, helped me fight the god dragon boss fights or whatever has been happening in the game. Yeah, the only I... NPCs that we saw in that entire fight were Ishgardians. That's it. Hi, hello. Uh, you know this nice new building you have? You're welcome for that. It was me who destroyed the Ultima weapon. You're welcome. Haven't, like, ha Minfilia, haven't you been taking credit for my accomplishments the whole game? I don't <laughs> actually think so. I'm the only character. <laughs> yes, she has. has Literally she? everything. Yeah, everything that the fucking Seven Science have gotten has only been because of us. We are literally the only reasons that we this group continues to function. And there's properly. canonically one of well, us I, the whole time because everyone else is just rando I, adventurers we found that don't have continuity. Yeah. Just one guy. I don't think she's taken responsibility or sorry, credit for everything, but But the, I mean the Scions as a group takes credit yeah. for all of well, our yeah. work. And That's so because, it's not weird yeah. to yeah. see we're like We're part other of the Scions, therefore it. the Scions were the one who did all the things. Yeah, that's that's yeah. We're only part of the Scions by like a weird happenstance. Like, oh, by association, you don't, basically. Yeah, it's like, oh, you don't get affected by the echo. Well, could you just Come hang around us. us for a bit? We're trying yeah. to like deal with some shit. And it's like, all right, I guess. It's like, hey, do you want to like topple these immortal beings? Uh, it won't take long. It's like, all right. <laughs> It's like I mean, it every... did take only about five minutes of fight, but you know. But like, we did that. We fucking fought that guy. We kicked his ass. Yeah. Like. And nobody came and gave us a fucking birthday party. <laughs> Everyone's just like, yeah, look at that. Good Happy good job, Scions. To we took care of one of the guys. You lost you lost a person, but like, you know. Yeah, okay, sure. Sorry yeah, that my I, birth I My birthday up. just passed and my Philly didn't even notice. <laughs> God, the game probably Such does. an inconsiderate bitch. <clears throat> ah, but mayhap they seek a pretext to meet with the Ishgardians while the mood is yet jubilant. Such an occasion would present a fine opportunity to press for Ishgard's return to the Eorzea Alliance. <clears throat> we have scarce the time to mourn Moonbrita, and I, for one, am in no mood to carouse. But I suppose we must put away our grief for the good of the realm. Though you were promised rest, I fear I must insist that you also attend. 
It would be a strange celebration indeed if the victorious hero were not present. Pray content yourself with the thought that such occasions may bring a momentous change, and this without recourse to bloodshed. Tataru, if you would do me a favor of contacting the rest of the Scions. Of course, Antecedent. And please let me know if there's anything else I can do. <sighs> <laughs> Well, she's mad she didn't get the invitation. That's all it is right there. That's I want to spite. point out that we're having a party in Udal, the place that's currently having a fucking revolt going on. Not which to mention, feel like a good time to be having a party. Like we're showing up after a war that they definitely didn't want anything to do with, hmm. uh, and we're having a party there. All the while, poor people are dying of hunger. And no jobs. Yeah, even though it's like, literally supposed to be the city of riches, you know, like I feel like I feel like we're literally just a person who only does like we go out and we do the the right thing. We always save the world or whatever, and then we're just like paraded around by bad people for doing that good thing, where it's like, yeah, look at this person who did a heroic duty. Cheers! It's like. Could you guys just not be bad people? Like, no, here's a party. Forget it. I have never known Tataru to side such requests. Could aught be amiss? No. Probably She's in tired, love, man. With Hori Boulder. <laughs> no, not <laughs> Hori Boulder. <laughs> pining from afar. Uh. Time to go love. talk to Tataru to figure out why she's being Layside. moody. You know what really grinds my gears? Oh, she's not even here. Nope. Destination. She is nowhere to be found. Surveying. Left the building. Let me just look left and right Actually, about, you know 75 about 75 times it. before I register she's not here. Has Have we ever figured out what Tataru's last name is? Tataru is conspic uh, conspicuous in her absence. Do they have last names, uh, the bean people? Yeah, usually it follows along some sort of weird thing. Actually, now that I think about it, Papa Limo doesn't have a last name displayed over his head either. I don't remember if any of them do. I don't know. A lot of the anything. NPC ones do. I guess we don't necessarily like, know the, anyone's the last names. minor names NPC ones, Shin? specifically. Yeah, like, for example, uh, like Nanamo the... Ulnamo. I don't think the Scions have last oh, names. I don't, yeah, I don't the think we've keeps ever established any Manfilia doesn't right. have one. Manfilia doesn't have one. He, like, reinstalled uh, even Manfilia's mom doesn't firmware. have one, who's what, what we're talking to now. Flem. Flem. I believe this was you. Oh, this is me. Yeah. Tataru, I believe she just stepped outside. Now that I think on it, she did seem rather preoccupied. Why did her last name oh. seem significant to you? Well, I was, I was just thinking about it. Like, every single not like Ritsky, minor it's not NPC like be revealed has... Her name's like Tataru Lockhart. <laughs> no. But every minor NPC that we've come across has had, you know, some weird variation of their name. Like, um... Hey? <laughs> yeah, it's... it's They're the ones with the, the name that has to, like, rhyme and or sound like the first name. Well, yeah, Tata. I love really. the idea that uh, that's the naming well, scheme. Of, that's their naming the scheme is one syllable, name. one syllable repeats, and then there's a third syllable that's a different sound. That's the naming Perfect. scheme of all of the beers. She's up top. Is she up top? Papa Limo, Tataru. Yeah, this is all of them. Their their last name oh, was never necessarily an established part of that naming scheme. Mainly because we basically don't know anyone's last names. I don't even know if last names are. Thing. <laughs> I like to imagine that she's like her name is like uh, Tataru. What what was that guy's name? Alucard. No, no, the 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 Von Bells uh, Bailsar Von Bailsar. Von Bailsar? <laughs> yeah, she's like a she's like a Garlean in disguise. She doesn't. Well, for one, she, <laughs> she doesn't like, have the third she, eye. She like throws Those open. Those aren't eyes, she, like, are they? Her, like a gem. Uh, like no, those are her, apparently eyes. It could be hiding under her bangs and her hat. She like throws her uh, 
clothes off and she grows like six feet tall and she becomes a <laughs> <human> <laughs> <laughs> she's like i'm actually a garland all along she, and it's she's like, proportionally oh, no. still the same way though she just looks like the stay puffed marshmallow man stomping around <laughs> <laughs> oh hero it's tall. you i didn't mean to worry anyone it's nothing really well, it's not nothing exactly, but it feels like nothing compared to the towering trials you and your others face every day, and yet this filler will still happen. And that's why I should probably talk to him in Philly before things get any worse. Oh, you always know what to say, Hero. I'm glad you, we had this little chat. I it didn't even say funny, anything. Funny joke. <laughs> we didn't even say anything. We're going right yeah, back to the affiliate. Yep. Our silence oh, speaks God. volumes. Apparently. I mean, they have to, because otherwise, how the hell? Yeah, are we that getting... and that volume is zero. Uh, I mean, that's kind of the point of silence. It is volume zero. Only if you let it be. There's no. I mean, I guess white noise exists, so you know. It's racist. Have to be white. Well, what does black noise sound like? I don't know. That's well, th if you can't answer what it sounds like, why are you judging me, bro? Maybe it's like white noise, but I don't know. What is maybe it's like white noise, but uh, a different key? It okay, then yes, Tatu. You have my undivided attention. I've been hesitant to broach the subject with all the recent ex excitement, but here the hero here made me realize that there's no time like the present, and time and time is what I'm here to ask for. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. If you you wish to be excused from your duties for a time, then you certainly have uh, then <clears throat> excuse me, then you have certainly have earned the rest. But I suspect that lying abed is far from your intent. You know me too well, Antecedent. There is, in fact, something I've been wanting to try my hand at. Along with the adventurers at the, at the Crystal Braves, the Scions are constantly <laughs> being thrown into dangerous battles and deadly predicaments. Even like Hori Boulder. <laughs> See, bets. I knew. First person on our mind, Hori Boulder. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> I'm not validating this shit, Rose. <laughs> Even Hori Boulder and, and Colton it? a person have been Ultimate. promoted from guard duty to fill our need for competent warriors it's the elizin guy who sticks around horde I'd, boulder and i'll never remember sure. that person and so I it seems guess. only right that i too should acquire the power to defend myself and oh no and others more importantly when i return i shall be both your receptionist and your bodyguard and then i will be ceremoniously murdered the next time a new threat has to establish I... how strong they are <laughs> she's yeah, going I, to I'm be not... She's going to be a four-foot paladin, I'm calling it right now. Or a three-foot paladin, probably. Oh, hey! It's Harry well, Boulder. that was a... Who was Harry, right, Who was Harry Boulder? Wait. <laughs> this guy. Who was his voice? I don't remember. Was it me or you or who? That was Andrew. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! That's Andrew? the first time I've... Oh, okay. oh. Go ahead. That's the first time I've almost been knocked to the ground by a Lollifel. Never seen Miss Tartaru so determined. As I befell uh, with which I might help Antecedent? Uh, not at present, thank you. Was there something you would have asked me? Oh yes. Pray excuse my distraction. An adventurer who uh, uh, was to join us for escort duty was injured while out on patrol. I fear we cannot properly defend the scholars entrusted to our protection without the aid of at least one, one, looking at us, one more guard. <laughs> Therefore, I humbly request that another adventurer, another adventurer of the capable kind, of course, be assigned to our party. I wonder what adventurer that, is going to be assigned to the duty. That armor design is so unusually decent for this game full of wacky nonsense. <laughs> Very well. What, mine? Yeah. Uh, no. His, presumably. I shall consider the potential candidates and provide you with a replacement as soon as I have able. Hero, would you like to do it? 
my thanks, Antecedent. I take my leave with you, uh, leave of you. Wow, that sounds a lot harsher than it actually is. <laughs> I feel like when you say I take my leave of you, that's like saying goodbye forever. No, that's just right. I take my leave oh, is just standard hey, we have for this two weird quests. nonsense. Apparently oh yeah, they're both and they're last both last main quests. Which one do we accept first, guys? The first one. Tartaru's hey, full name is Tataru Taru. Tataru Taru. Tataru Taru. Tataru the power to defend oneself. Hmm. Tatter has ever been full of surprises. <laughs> like it's a now frog etymophia. Tatter, Tatter. Now that I think on it, I do recall Uriange mentioning that she had developed an interest in Ar uh, Arcanima. D d Jeez, <laughs> that's a word I've never heard before. Ar Arcanima? Huh. Arcanima. Yeah. Like I've heard of Arcana. Do, 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 do. Arcanima. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Mayhaps she hopes to gain admittance to the Arcanist's Guild in Limsa Limensa. Yes, that will be the way of it. Would you be so kind as to journey to the Guild and see that all is well? It is doubtless unwarranted, but surely I am not alone in my concern for her safety. Do we want to accept the second quest? Oh, we can't. They're, they're main quests, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't accept it. Why not? What? Must not have a new Game Plus quest currently in progress. Oh, uh, no. Are you only allowed to do one at a time? Apparently. Weird. Well, that's dumb. That's oh. a weird restriction. Yes. Well, uh, we should probably go do this quest and then that's come really back. That's weird. I already clicked on it, though. Well, somebody else is going to have to read it, then. I wonder, do you perchance recall the commitment I made to furnish Hori Boulder with a capable adventurer? Well, I am sorry to say that I have as yet been unable to do so. Now I realize that you are rather more th than a capable adventurer, than, and that escort duty is frankly beneath a man of your talents, but since when? I have no, no one else to turn to at present. Might you be willing to forego rest and assist us in this matter? No. Oh. Generous to a fault, I thank you, hero. Now it seems only fair that I would explain the import of the task to qu in question. For some time, our order has employed a handful of scholars to travel around Eorzea, taking etheric readings. I know, I was a monk. I did it. I was. This was my whole storyline as a monk. That we might better understand the impact of primal summonings. Naturally, it behooves us to ensure that our employees' safety. And so we ask the adventurers in our service to serve as escorts. I, I already did this in my storyline. This is, this is just redundant now. Hori, Boulder, and Cultinet were... To ask as to, uh, to act as two such escorts, as was a third adventurer. Alas, due to injury, said adventurer is not presently fit for duty. Hence, my need to impose upon your goodwill. You are truly a pillar of strength, hero. Or Boulder will share with you the details of your task. He should be waiting for you outside. Be safe. All right, now time to do the other one first, because Effie has that one. Yep. Off to Lamenta. It's an unexpected <laughs> ambition. Mm-hmm. Gotta train the bean creature. Potato. Oh, we gotta talk to Hori. Oh, no. no we nope. Well, that's no, because that's the quest that... I'll, I'll pick that up as immediately That's the quest after. that Epi can't get yet. Yep. That's a weird restriction of New Game Plus that I didn't yeah. expect. He apparently can only have one qu main quest at a quest. time. Uh, yeah. Well... Weird. It's very weird. Anyway, I'm here. Where is... Oh, downstairs. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, uh. There's a terrifying frog person. Or is it a cat person? Yeah, it's a frog person. That's a nightmare. I'm surprised this game's not full of Balan Wonderworld skins now. Because <laughs> Square Enix is so proud of that release. They released an Alphano outfit, so there's a lot of people running around as Alphano. Oh. Uh, yep. Wait, what Hairstyle and all. What a boring outfit to choose, to. The Alphano costume? Yep. Yeah. And hairstyle. I want Perfect a little hairstyle. thigh window. Look at my little thigh. Oh, there's uh, Where am I? 
Uh, Arcanist Guild downstairs. Going. Oh, there's stairs. Yep, there you go. You found it. Hello. Yeah. Cutscene. Are they having a Pokemon battle? Hero, what are you doing here? Don't you have like shit to do? What happened? Do I want pacing? All right, well, come along. I didn't mean it hurt her to worry. That's the last thing I wanted. Putting an end to such worries is precisely the reason I'm here, don't you see? I, Tataru Taru, it's like as if to answer Effie's question, wow, yeah. shall become a great and powerful arcanist. And now, as at Mistress <laughs> Thubber Games. That's a name, dear Lord. <laughs> Tub something. Ooh. I can't stop. That's the wrong song. It's, ooh, but it's the other song. Fuck. Yeah, I get knocked down. Yeah. M uh, Mitra's Thubber Games should be asked. <laughs> Thuby. What the fuck? Mr. Thuby. <laughs> what a mess. I must go and complete a special training exercise until we meet again. Why is this a story quest? That's someone's I, OC. Don't she's literally me. going to school. Why are we coming with her to her school? She didn't even ask did us the, to. All this already. I shouldn't have to go through it again. <laughs> this is silly. Well, I mean, this. I mean, you did this to yourself. <laughs> Playing the story well, no, twice I, was I, your I, own choice. I'm, that's not what I mean. What I mean is like, hi, I'm a summoner. Oh, because you're an you. arcanist. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> like, I did. All, I've done all this already. Why do I have to do, go through it again? Yeah, but have you? Doing. Why does she need a chauffeur through school? Mm. I didn't need a chauffeur through school. Uh, oh my god, that's Thubber Game. It's a Rogan female, so this Shibu is going to be an interesting conversation. Up, it is an hero. What brings you to the guild? Yep, that's what I was expecting. So you were acquainted with our newest member. Ugh. An arcanist of your experience must see that her potential is somewhat lacking. Nevertheless, she would not be denied and, go and goes now to undertake her first trial, a simulated inspection of three crates. Doubtless, you recall receiving similar training under K Khalil Khalil's uh, supervision. Yep. A thought occurs. Why not oversee Tatsu's training yourself? Given your relationship with the girl and your familiarity with the task, I think you, you're the ideal choice. You only need to... Uh, you only... You need only head to the cliff south of Zephyr Gate, as before, and observe at a distance. Did you have different dialogue? Yeah, right I think there's gendered dialogue where they rewrote. They literally wrote the entire conversation differently for female. Well, like I don't think it was so much. No, well, he's, I actually well, have female. I've already. I've, he I already have both an Arcanist Arcanist. class. Yeah. yeah, we've already done Arcanist stuff. Oh, did you have his dialogue? Yeah, I had his dialogue. So I was the only one with different dialogue? It was all yeah, like... Yeah, because you're not an Arcanist, presumably. But from what I was skimming, it sounded like it was basically just the same fucking conversation. <laughs> it wasn't that different. Oh, little rat people are here! I'm, I haven't seen these guys in a while. When do we get to play what? as them? The, ra the rat guy. Oh, the moles? Yeah, no, they're rats, aren't they? Pretty sure they're rats. You're, looking, you're, you're, you're distracted by his big, wacky, bulky mask. Oh wait, those huh? are different races, aren't they? Those are different races. Yeah, yeah I like the I like the rat. Is that about the, the goblin? The rat guy's next to him. Yeah, that's a mole. I like the rat. Right? I like the rat guys. That's a rat. It's not a mole. How is that a rat? How is that a mole? Isn't, is that not what moles look like? No. Moles have like a star-shaped nose. Like nothing about that looks like a mole. Do moles even have ears that stick out? Uh, I'm not sure off the top of my head. This, this guy's a rat as fuck. Although his claws are a bit much, they look like like silly straws. <laughs> the fuck is it? Well, either That's way, I'm I thought he was a mole. Of the zipper gate. <laughs> it's got the like that kind of nails you see where you're like, how do you, woman, how do you use phones? <laughs> tap 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 tap. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I always get really confused when I see uh, really uh, long. Nails, and then I think about like keyboards. I'm like, how do you, uh, how do you, you have to like go at keyboards from like a really odd ambition. angle. Okay. Is 
Wait, Lower limits of desks. X docks. Yeah, what, what, what did you teleport to, Epi? I don't know the names of these places. We have to go to Moor Bay docks. So, Moor Bay dry docks. A world. Wait, no. What? I don't, I don't have that go one. Go outside then. of the Zephyr Gate. Get some running. What is it? What is it? What's oh. the Zephyr Gate and what is outside of it mean? Uh, go up to the Aether, uh, Aethernet shard and click Zephyr Gate. Have you found every single Aether? Oh, absolutely not. Here? Oh. Well, uh, then in that case, uh, teleport no to Summerford there. Farms. I don't have that either. You don't have yeah. the teleport to Summerford Farms? You don't have the, you don't have the Summerford Farms. Da, 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 uh, so go to so teleport to the uh, Limsa Limnosa lower decks, like the main hub, and then just and then walk all the way out uh, yeah. east. Where am I so right past now? the elevator and then through that. Uh, Where am I right now? Am I not already in the lower decks? No. No, you are in the just upper use the Ethernet shard and teleport to the plaza. I'm and at the plaza. East. Yep, go Isn't straight east. Limsa Limnosa Aetherite Plaza. Yeah, I was already running east because, as far as I could tell, I saw the objective to the east. Yeah. Although when if I opened the map if again, you I couldn't see it again. continue east from the Arcanist Guild, then yeah, you'll eventually get there. It's an ant eater. That doesn't look anything like an ant eater. What the hell are you talking about? A rat. I would take an anteater race, but that's not an anteater. <laughs> is there another shard out here somewhere? No. Nope. That was the Zephyr Gate. It's just that. Yeah, that's the that's Zephyr Gate. Uh, it sounded cooler than it was. <laughs> I thought I was. I was looking for something more dramatic. Wharf rats and a ladybug. <laughs> All right. Destination's right here. Keith. Uh, Keith. What are we doing? It's up here. Oh, there Destination's right here. Yep. Hiding in the shade. Now, quickly, everybody, local left and right, make it sure there's more no like traffic. A kobold. Kobolds are lizards. You guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> what? Kobolds you guys are, are dragon kid. What you guys are, are madmen. Yeah, I don't. Oh, oh hey, hey she Keith gets to, to sing. Pirates port, where she met her shining jewel, or to bring the smugglers' plans to not cost the lass who numbs her could fool. Beat him with the back draft, gut him with a gust, deck him with a downburst, go, Carbuncle, go! That didn't rhyme. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. It does Japanese. Are those crates I spy? Her Carbuncle is almost the size of her. <laughs> <laughs> Consume. Ah, and this must be the true test. And we're ready for them, aren't we, Carbuncle? Carbuncle's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, Carbuncle, Why, that was that was bad comic timing. It took so long. <laughs> Did she just ride that? Does she even need a mount? Yeah, there goes the Carbuncle. That's uh, no, she can't, Keith, because it ran off. But I mean, no, I mean, otherwise, <laughs> you're about to get killed by a level one rat. That rat sh shoved its head um, right up That's his dress. a lot more than just one level one rat. Ooh, wah! Oh, it auto-proceeded by. No, one, back, could have, Uncle, no one could read that that fast. That was so I quick. read it that fast. No, I mean, like, in the time the window was up, you couldn't read it out. Yep. Off we go. And How is this relevant to the story? How is this It totally to isn't, but who cares? The fucking game? I mean, it's less boring, so I guess I'll take it than politics. Filler, 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 filler. Story, filler, filler, filler. Like how my class quest is always more interesting than the main story. <laughs> like, significantly <laughs> more. It has, like, character arcs and a small cast of people with conflicts that aren't boring cosmic shit. Mm. I should have known you'd come, hero. You needn't say a word. Your face says it all. I know you bore witness to my shame. I don't even know how to use magic. Betrayed by my own carbuncle and left at the mercy of wild beasts. Brave of you to assume I know what that means. I must accept the truth. I'll never be a warrior like you or the others. I don't know what a carbuncle is. I will inform Mistress Thirkbzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
like so much else, is beyond me. Oh my god, that like noise is like sobbing. <laughs> yeah, to give you a bit of an explanation here, Keith, uh, it's your familiar arcanist magic. Essentially, have control over a summon. In this instance, a carbuncle or an emerald one. Uh, and uh, yeah, if your will isn't strong enough, they don't listen to you. It's Charizard. Basically. It's a Charizard that's also what? your spell book. No. No. Uh, Ash, Ash literally had enough badges to control Charizard and he's still he just refused. Him. Well, it's Charizard yeah. if they stole, if they told the story correctly. Uh, fuck, what teleport is it? Uh, uh the Arcanist Guild. Uh, I, I gotta say, I hate this I system. I did too. I hate this entire system. Andrew made the same mistake I did. Yeah, here's a crazy, here's a crazy cool idea. What if I could just fucking click on them on the map? But yeah, like I said, long story short, Carbuckle didn't listen to her and abandoned her because it was oh, strong God. <laughs> the menu for picking Aetherite spots needs to have a map on it to tell you where they are. Yeah. I don't want to memorize 15 uh, teleport spots across three towns. Yeah. Then also a capital towns from future expansions, probably. Yes, obviously. <laughs> oh, how little you know. Yeah, it doesn't get any better, trust me. Nope. Don't worry, I'll, don't worry, I'll frustrate heaven, you guys the whole time. Sword is a fucking nightmare. I hate <laughs> this stupid castle in Heaven Sword. It fucking sucks. Uh, never, there is not enough fucking points to teleport to, and you're just fucking yeah, running half the time. It, the current it WoW sucks. expansion, the capital city, is a circle, and every direction looks the same. <laughs> so Uldot, uh, basically. I just Except run in works. circles, and I'm like, oh god, where am I? It's just a nightmare. And I, I, I always it. guess it wrong, and have to just give up and open the map, and run around with the map open instead of seeing the game. <laughs> the and, then get, nice and then my fucking sport. faction town is also a circle, as Andrew knows, because yeah. we picked the Arden Wield. It's also a fucking yeah. circle. I get confused and run like fucking like 250 out of the 360 degrees every time I try to find a place. I have to just do a full loop until I reorient myself, because circles are cursed. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's probably not as bad as the undead uh, starting area. At least the that fucking... complicated. At least the fucking Undercity looked different in each direction. <laughs> it had quarters I mean, that were, like, that, color-coded. I mean, the Alliance guy who went there to, you know, kill people. Uh, very confusing. I have never had as much trouble with any of the capital cities in WoW as much as I did with the new one. Where I'm just like, why? Anywho. Yeah, doesn't... Uh, uh, <laughs> ah, back so soon. How uh, how fared our fledgling arcanist? She's trash. Abysmally, Mistress. Abysmally, as Hero would testify, who's here for some reason, doing nothing. I was wrong to become an arcanist. Wrong as usual. I am completely and utterly unqualified, and, and sincerely apologize for wasting your time. Aren't you here to get qualified? Mm. The fuck do you think school? What do you think that schools would, are? would not have permitted you to join in the first place. What do you think a school is? Uh, I don't know. I guess she assumed we just grew up. It's like if I just pick prowess. up a fucking guitar and just make some noises. I'm like, wow, this is this is horrible. I'm just not cut out for this. I Sorry mean, for wasting fair, your time. And it's like that's not how fair, this works. Keith, they're gonna take your money one way or the other. So, uh... well, I mean. She didn't. She didn't. She hasn't even started the course. She literally <laughs> just had to go look at a box, and she failed to do like the entry level course, which yeah. is fine. Like, it's not like she. She's not. Well, the, see, she's not ready for combat yet, which is. See, here's the you thing. Know, you have to get to level. I want to say it's four before you can summon a carbuncle. So. I mean, she might just have those levels naturally from existing. Yeah, it's that's. I mean, that's fair. I guess. I don't know, maybe her XP just, like, banks. Like, she had... <laughs> she lived for X Bank many XP. years. Yeah. It's, it's like every isekai... She has a lot of rest like, XP. I have all these She's... experience points that I can just throw into whatever I want. Let well, me just has a bunch of my strength. She has a bunch of rested XP bonuses because she was sitting in the stupid waking sands all the damn time. <laughs> so, she's good. Uh, 
We must, uh, we must all come to accept our limitations. Lest our ambitions lead us astray. However, we must not lose sight of our strengths in the process. For example, your exceptional skill with numbers helped you gain a solid grasp of the fundamentals of Arcani- uh, Arcani- Arcanima. <laughs> Were it not so, you would have struggled even to summon Carbuncle to your side. In my opinion, the Scions are truly fortunate to have such a capable and good-natured receptionist in their service. Would you not agree? You are too kind, Mrs. <laughs> Though I could not overcome this challenge, I shall take your words to heart and try not to be discouraged. I wonder if she might be more suited as a scholar rather than as a summoner. I feel like that's the problem. She's trying to go down the summoner route. Well, she wants to be a fighter. And she could always I mean, get a future as like a boulder that you load in that you load into trebuchet. Well, she gets the right size for it. As fetching as these garments are, I fear I may sh I shall never don them again. But I can't go back to the Rising Stones without something to show for my time, anyway. Wait, I know what I could do. That is, if you don't mind accompanying me for a little longer. To pick flowers. <laughs> Wonderful. Then to Costa del Sol we will go. It's a bit of a gamble, but I'm confident we'll pay off. Are you gonna try? Is she gonna try Costa to train in each class? Is that where she's going? What? Yeah, she's gonna try. Now I'm gonna be a dragoon. <laughs> uh, Costa oh, del Sol God. is rogue, I think, isn't it? I don't know. That usually, I think so. I think no. It's... Well, there's a couple of different classes that end up here. Rogue and a ninja. Uh. Oh, rogue. Uh, Marauder into warrior. Uh, they said Rogadin. No. The class of Rogadin. She's going to be a dancer? Is that Maybe? what the cost? Dance, do dancers exist yet? Uh, no. Nah, looks like a not thief when this came out, no. Yes, this is it. This is where the man at Drowning Wench told me to look. Uh oh. There's a certain variety of clam which can be harvested this time of year in Bloodshore, one which produces the most marvelous pearls. However, these clams are so coveted by certain wild creatures, and since I faded uh, rather poorly in battle last time, <clears throat> let us be off. He's gonna be. Wait, a did, she just, gonna did she just we're give gonna, up on gonna... having a class and immediately is like, okay, what if I just like collect a pearl? That's like almost as good as an entire new calling in life, right? Why? Why are we? This. Why? I, I got. I lost interest the moment she stopped trying to become something. <laughs> Immediately I'm like, wait, what? I don't care now. What fortune, I've already found one. Would you be so kind as to keep watch while I work? This one should only take a moment. You can just open the clam not here. Stand Instead guard. Of in Dangerville. Oh, okay, oh wait, wait. Her head's There's underwater. Here. Her head's definitely underwater. This is awfully far to be standing from your quarry, you know? Or from your charge, rather. Well, she needs to be in threat, so. You sent the hostile presence. Where? Uh, that giant sea serpent oh, thing is. over there, I guess. Boom, boom. Morgower, R. What a big, what a big old bad boy. Somebody, somebody fed him after midnight, and he's here to fight. Time to die, motherfucker. Kill. Wow, that's it? That's it. I mean, it would have swallowed her whole. Well fought, hero, well fought. I knew I was right to ask you to come. Are you condescendingly? As for Crazy. me, I have my prize, a bounty of blood pearls. So named for the reddish hue, they were treasured as wards against dark magics in ancient times. I thought I might make charms for everyone so that no matter where they go, they will always come home. It's sort of the power to defend myself and other people, in a way, right? Well, I mustn't keep f f f waiting. Let's, uh, the work be done, lots of it. Uh, uh, we're to secure provisions for the Scions in the Lominson markets. She may have an eye for quality, but I have a nose for bargains. Will you be heading back to the Rising Stones? If so, pray convey my apologies to the antecedent, and tell her that she didn't need wor she didn't need to worry about me. She literally tried right. to get a new class for one day and was like, eh, I give up. 
It's like the same story that happened in Monster Hunter Rise. They're just like... Some people are like, I want to help with the fights. They're like, wait, you mean my talent wasn't cooking all along? What a golly fool I was. <laughs> Farewell, hero, and thanks for everything. Hmm. It sounded rather final, didn't it? How about until we meet again? And, and then she was never seen again. Swallowed hole just off camera. Not even walking towards shore or civilization. Where's she going? How is she running in waist high water? <laughs> don't ask questions. It is better you don't know. What was that look? Why is, why is the potato? Oh, she ran directly to that crab, crab over there, so she's dead. <laughs> wow. All right, they, they tricked me into being invested for like a minute, and then it's like, oh, I give up. Whatever. Fuck it. I'm quitting the yep. story. I'm gonna get a pearl. Cool. Sorry for caring for a second. Jesus. <laughs> that, I mean, that is your fault. Alright. Uh, How do you flop at a basic underdog story? <laughs> like, wow, we're gonna see her struggles as she tries to figure out how to get the... Oh, uh, no. She doesn't care anymore. She's bored. <laughs> so we gotta go oh. back to Mordona real quick. Talk to Mantilia, and then I gotta pick up the second quest. And then we do that quest. And then we're good. Unless this quest is a chain and we never get to the other one for like another 10 hours. I certainly hope not. Oh, Hero, you're just in time. We have this huge political thing to talk about. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, I am here talking to Minfilia. Let me know when you are doing the same. I am here. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll just start. Uh, welcome home, Hero. I gather you found Tataru in Limsa Liminsa. Exposition! Exposition! <laughs> My, it sounds as though she had quite an adventure. And while it did not end as she had hoped, I suspect that it will prove to be a valuable experience. I dare say she could have managed without our intervention. Even so, I appreciate your indulging my request. Nah, yeah, she probably would have been killed. Okay, now I can pick up the other quest. <laughs> I already heard all this nonsense, so I can skip all the dialogue. Now I can go to speak with Harry Boulder. Or I I meant what I said. He looks like he was trying to pet me. <laughs> He's just uh, doing security. It's really off putting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little weird. Ah, hero. It is true, uh, is it true that you agreed to lend us a hand? No, it's like he more doesn't, like we he doesn't understand that it's rude to just like touch people's hair. <laughs> Huzzah! What did I tell you, Cole Tent? Our misfortune has become a blessing, an opportunity to serve alongside the warrior of light themselves. Who is this character? Who is this? Was this me? Uh, I, I think that was you. Yeah. Need I remind you that we have three scholars to escort? Each of whom take a different route. Oh, God. Well, we have three players, so fuck your plot twist. <laughs> true, I true, but our mission is the same. Separated by moms, we may be, but in spirit, we shall be together. Yes, because that is definitely all that matters when it comes to being on a mission, even though we're on three separate missions. If Yay. such thoughts bring you joy, you are welcome to think them. <laughs> yeah, see? He gets it. To more practical concerns, Hero, we have... Uh, uh, we would have you attend the scholar to the scholar charged with the surveying the South Shroud. He is waiting at Camp Tranquil as we speak. All you need to do is follow the man. He will determine the most appropriate locations to take his readings. In spirit, hero, in spirit, we shall be together every step of the way. Stop air humping at me. Yeah, I don't air hump at people. That's fucking rude. Weird gyrating. All right, off to Camp Tranquil. I don't need to see your O face out of like encouragement or whatever. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm glad to see fire season started early this year. Oh, I got the perfect voice. The unsettled for this guy. scholar. I have the perfect.
perfect voice for this guy. I can't wait. wait. At last, the Scion Man deigns to grace me with his presence. A pity that we have no time for pleasantries. You can Our hear his monocle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really can. Our first destination is Isom Har. Come, we are late enough as it is. As I have to, real quick, clean my glasses. Just teleported away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, this is some. Uh, this is one hell of an escort mission. Yep. Wow, he went way further than I expected. Danger knew it all. Did they patch out the escort? I uh, probably. Did they patch out the escort. <laughs> that was the kind of like, come over here. It was, like seemed like he was going to be like twenty feet away, not all the way over here. We could have just met him here. Like there are lev meets that you actually have to beckon at people to escort them. So I'm so glad that if they did, it's awful. You can't walk like five feet from them without them complaining. Yes, this location should suffice. Once I finish calibrating my instruments, I will require but a moment to take the necessary measurements. I trust I need not explain my work, can suffer no interruptions. Then please stand at an appropriate distance and keep watch for wild beasts. Okay. He's about as annoying as the other guy I worked for. Wait, I've been tricked into working my previous job. I'm gathering field samples. God damn it. <laughs> I quit that to be a Let's Player. <laughs> How could you? You have forgo you have forgotten your destiny. My destiny. The rocks, they call to you. Wow, that was a uh... combat. I see we have both completed our respective tasks. A satisfactory outcome. Though, if I could make one suggestion, you might try to dispatch your foes more quietly in the future. I'm a fucking ninja right now. How do I do things quiet? Shut up. I do not like to pick fault, but I really must be allowed to concentrate. And now then, snake about the weights, shall we? How quietly, more quietly do I katana things? That is the question. A very, sm very smug reaction to have to like the guy that saves the world every weekend. I know, right? It's almost as if this guy has been cloistered for so long he has no idea who we are. That may actually be the case, but you know, that's besides the point. And Scott. Hello. Right about here, yes. As before, I would ask that you keep an eye out for dangerous beasties while I work. Yay. Standing watch. And thing. Oh, right. We have to, okay, oh, we hey, have to wait. We have to click on the thing. Oh, it counts when one of you does it. Got it. The Deep Void Death Mouse! Oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? Look at his name! He's the Deep Void Death Mouse! It's such that a fucking looks very metal... Much like a mole combined it's with It's such a, a stupidly a metal name know. for such a random cute critter that looks identical to the level 1 one we saw in the last zone. Anteater oh squirrel my combo. fucking god. Alright. That's like up there with Malfurion Storm Rage. <laughs> Fascinating. These readings are not at all what I expected. Though, perhaps that should come as no surprise. I am not given to superstition, but there is a queer, almost blasphemous air hereabouts. Oh. Let us quit this place and return to Roots Lake. We have one more site to survey. You don't want to commit some queer blasphemy? Uh, not this day and age, I don't. <laughs> I would very much not like to be canceled. <laughs> <thank you very laughs> much. That's not real. You know, I the mean, worst that could happen is people not say famous, have, things about you on the do internet. Do I have this weird giant crystal yet? Uh, hopefully. I think I did. 
I'm just going to clear some things out while I wait for you guys. I'm going to kill harmless remnants that are level 33. But they're harmless. Yeah, but they might interfere with our conversation. I, so weren't I'm they neutral? I doubt it. No, they're aggressive. Anywho. As before, my guardian, leave me to my task and ensure our safety. Okay. Like. Now we have to do the escort mission. Is there another destination yeah. to check? Yeah, you have to kill these things. Oh, we just fight these guys? Not all got them, but yeah. I I can't understand you. Your voice is not working. Oh, sorry. I was saying you didn't have to do. Uh, you didn't have to fight all of them. You only had to fight a few of them. The ones with the icons above their head are the ones that you need to fight. And we're done. Done. Easy. Clap. And this data should prove invaluable too. Ye gods, what is that stench? Did you slaughter a creep of adamantoises when my back was turned? Quickly now, to Camp Tranquil! I'll not have my clothing reeking of blood and awful. Are turtles known for smelling bad? Apparently. That was the go-to I mean, there's example. one right there, so ask them. Oh, they Here. smell. <laughs> Are you adamant about they that? They all live in the sewers. Why wouldn't they smell? <laughs> With anchovy pizza. Hmm. You chose to paddle in the ichor a while longer, I take it. No matter. I took advantage of my unexpected privacy and performed a history analysis of my data. It would appear that there has been a measurable decrease in Aorzi's ambient aether concentration since the calamity. However, this data is far from conclusive. I must take additional measurements to confirm my assessment. Oh god. No! Paddled in the eye. We literally flew here. We're cleaner than you. I love the description of this quest. Who better to serve the signs of the seventh dawn than a humble scholar and his faithful assistant? Mm -hmm. For our next survey, I would have you escort me to Earth's Fount. The ambient aether concentrations there are so high that crystalline structures form spontaneously. Consequently, Anomalous fluctuations should be much easier to detect. Brilliant, yes. No, don't bother answering. That was rhetorical. Now, come along. <laughs> Earth Where are we gonna go? Ugh, jeez. Uh, all you the gotta speak up, Andrew. Oh, to the other fucking end of the map. Great. Yep. Love this fucking quest. What an amazing story we're reading about here. Yeah, it's great, right? Telling. Making every inch of my body wish it could oh, possibly oh, I can't stop go directly there. Okay. No, you have to take the long way. That long way, then. Uh, Just gotta go around this. Why? Hill. Do, 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 ceiling. Do, 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 do. But why? Why because the game be said way? so. Because the devs thought it would be a good idea. So glowy. Has that ever been true? Yep. Things got aggroed on him. It Ow. doesn't matter because they'll keep interrupting. You can't talk to people while you're going to attack. Stop it. Dick. Ow. Hey, don't talk to Ked like that. I can't. I can't. You should be more than familiar with the procedure by now. Pray find a suitable position from which to keep watch when I take measurements. Okay. You know, when, when my class quest did this, they at least, you know, put a story in it. Well, hey, look, I, was, right. I had a rivalry with another monk, and there was an entire B-plot about Alamigo. Is he going to get squished? Please tell me he gets squished. That would be he us guess. failing our job. Yes. <laughs> Quite high, yet still markedly lower than historical measurements taken near the end of the sixth astral era. Could the presence of a primal account for the difference? Or is there something else? 
something else. Oh, and he goes wandering. He's gonna get squished. You're about to get Jurassic parked. Yep. Something else. <gasps> Zion! Zion, come here! I, I need you! Are you dying? He's not dying. Oh. Okay, good reason to call for help. Is it the pirate guy? Nope, nope. just a rando. It is definitely <clears throat> a dead guy. Fear not, my friends. Help has arrived. Wait, how uh, did don't you, you guys have, get here? Don't you have, where are your scholars? Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Wait, did you kill them already? There you are, hero. Hori and I were worried when you and your charge failed to return at the appointed hour, so we've taken too long. Apparently. Ugh, <sighs> gutted like a hog, but not by one, no. These wounds were made with a blade. Doesn't look like he put much up, put up much of a fight either. Nary a mark on his sword or his shield. I've heard nothing of any crystal brave operations in this area. What co what cause had he had Wilrid to come here? What? What should we do? So Wilrid's dead. Apparently. I think I recognize that name. Uh, we will see to the scholar's protection, hero. How do we know you two didn't do this? That would be weird. Right. <laughs> and the boys are mates. You should you should return to the Rising Stones. The antecedent will want to know what happened here. Didn't we yeah, recruit? So we're we're, didn't we alone. recruit Wilrid? And so do I. Uh, yeah, Looking we pretty villainous Wilred. in that scene. <clears throat> yeah. He's dead as fuck, yo. Yep. Back to Mordona. Somebody mm. else's turn to pay for the teleport. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Clicky, clicky, click, click, click. There you go. One of my fifty-seven tickets. Yes. Do, 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 do. Delivery Moogle, there's a mail person. Oh yeah, I've had like one letter. In the oh yeah, it's from, now. it's a parasol from Artemis. Or at least mine is. Oh, oh neat. I like oh, I that. I see how it is, Artemis. I'm not going to give one right. to the rest of us. Y'all don't need parasols. I mean, I've already got one. Even... So. How do you even do that? Uh, it's under... Does it count um, as a weapon? Character... I imagine it counts as a pet that falls around. Character fashion accessories. Oh, that's a whole new category for me. Yep. Oh, I can't access fashion accessories. Oh, it's probably my inventory. Yeah, you have to use it first, and then you can. Ah. It's an unlock, basically. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you gained access to the fashion accessories. You 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 gotta get closer to your mic or something. Oh, it's from Bazia. Okay. You're I'm literally from, I'm you literally You are constantly right inaudible with whatever you've got set up. Fine. There you go. Should be better now. Uh. So what? It's just like a like a summon. It looks oh, like no. you just so hold you use the, it and it just goes hold an umbrella. A, it goes into a miscellaneous inventory. You click uh character. Uh. And okay. Then, uh, fashion accessories, and then you can summon it from. There. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, and it just stays <laughs> with me forever, even in cutscenes. Uh, when I go through I doors, I put it away. Right. I think if you interact Aww. with anything, probably it goes away. It's just like yeah, a, it's you like an emote. Interact with anything, it's, try to take your weapon mount. It's, it's basically it just away. an emote. Yep. <clears throat> gotcha. Anyway, okay. Talking to me to fill you up. I look. Yep. I look. I look very silly <laughs> holding it. <laughs> yeah. Hero, you are returned, and you seem troubled. Did the role of escort chafe so? Yes. We are traumatized. Give us rest. Give us a mental health holiday. Wilrid, dead. Mayhap murdered by the Twelve. How can that be? I will send word to Alphano at once. 
He'll want to conduct a full investigation and send word to Wilred's family. Gods, he was just a boy. Who would do this? And why? Because people are assholes. Cutscene. Though recent events weigh heavily on our minds, we must need set them aside for now. First Moonbrita, then Wilrid. Who next? Minfilia, please. So I don't have to keep voicing it. We are come to a defining moment in Eorzean history. The grand commemoration of our joint defense of Ishgard. The first time in 15 long years that our people have stood side by side with our neighbors to the north to fight in a common cause. Well, that's what that she's talking really about. That was a really long sentence. Holy For a second there, I thought she was saying that about been... Wilbur's death, and I was like, that's a bit strong. <laughs> Yeah. The turning point in Eorzean history, Wilred's murder. <laughs> this may mark the true rebirth of the Eorzean Alliance. Goodness, I can't speak today. Failing that, it should at the, be at the very least. It should at the very least serve to bring our nations closer together. See what I tell you? I can't read today. <clears throat> we have every reason to raise our voices in celebration. Do we not? Uh, I mean, we have bested Dravanians and Asians both. Against desperate odds, we have fought and won. But the primals still plague us, and the Empire still plots our subjugation. And our triumphs, remarkable though as they are, were, brought, uh, were bought at a terrible price. Brave adventurers and allies, broken on the steps of faith, and before our eyes, in this very room, our dear friend Moonbrita. This is the victory we have wrought, and it is bitter ashes in my mouth. What? What, <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that fucking mean? All right, I mean, whatever. She's a vampire and she tried to eat something. Clearly. Oh no. <laughs> I would sooner stay here and invite those with more appetite to enjoy the feast in my stead. See, vampire. What I tell you. That's why there's no mirrors in here. And why there's no windows. Alas, it is a royal banquet, and all our allies will be in attendance. It is our duty to present a united front, that we might serve as a beacon of hope to all. Oh no, not that camera angle. It reveals that stuff in my face is just floating. <laughs> it seems I have no choice but to take my own advice. Oh, wait, there is a window. Huh. Yeah. I instructed the others to meet us in Ulda, that we might make our grand entrance together. Unfortunately, I had to settle for leaving Tatru and Lamin a note. If they do not return quickly, they will have to settle for whatever leftovers I can smuggle out of the uh, fragrant chamber. Wow. You're gonna get over a doggy bag even though she's a Makote? How thought? Uh, how uh, <laughs> you know, thoughtful of you, I guess. I don't know. Oh. The pirate, I think. That's the pirate. The one who's not dead. Andrew. Andrew. Right. Forgot about this guy. Off to the off to the big story, uh, hero. Raise a glass for me, eh? Or not? You don't, uh, you don't look pleased, lass. Something on your mind? Eh. Exposition. By the navigator. Wilred's dead? God damn it. They must know they, uh, they must know they've been rumbled. I mean, a solid. Pat, uh, it is past time we had this talk. After our last conversation, I got to thinking about where certain funds were coming from. So I did, uh, so I had to dig around on a quiet, like, and then sure enough, found it. Seems a fair bit of coins made away of the Braves' coffers courtesy of a dodo consortium. A daft name for a business if I've ever heard one. Which is what first gives me an inkling that something weren't right. So I went through the ledgers again and found another half dozen do uh, donations from organizations with stupid bloody names. Didn't take long to find a common thread. They were all owned by the Mirage Trust. 
Oh, I'll give that bastard credit. He showed us up for the amateur as we are. Short Oak Hall and one of his businesses, the bloody bribery consortium. I don't know what he could have done to mock our rules on financial contributions. The gods only know how many men of the first and third are talking to er, Teldrin's coin. But now we know as some of them are. I'd wager me right eye they'd be the ones who did it for Wilfred. Stop doing that. Stop wagering your only fucking eye left. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like a default you... thing. Yeah, like what is this catchphrase that you want to go blind? <laughs> it's fucking weirding me out, man. Like I said, the, if he's wrong at any point, man, oh man, he's going to regret it. He's way too dedicated for eye for an eye. Like, like, what is, like, does he say this for everything? Apparently. Like, just. Yeah, so far. <laughs> I bet it's you just, anything I, that I'm, my underpants are not the color green. I just, I wonder, I'm just wondering what the situations are where it's just uncomfortable for him to say that to people. Mm. Where he's just like. I don't know. I can't even fathom. Like, he's at a casino? I don't, I mean, I don't know. That's probably how he lost his other eye. Now that I think about it. He bet his eye to the wrong person. I guess. The honest young fool had taken an ask into the wrong kind of questions. Bound to attract attention, he was. Should have seen it at the time, but I didn't. God damn me. Still, I don't see what te uh, Telegid hopes to accomplish. He hid his scheme with all the care of a drunk pissing into the wind. Even doing evil grimaces at the camera. Mm. No, he's d uh, cleverer than this, so we need to be clever too. That's the only way we'll ever be, re uh, we'll ever repay this debt of blood. We'll purge every one of them traitorous bastards from our ranks. On that, you have my word. All right. Who is this okay. guy? <laughs> and hero. Mind yourself when you doll, eh? We are heading into a storm. I can smell it. I'd bet me only good eye. Hmm. The, uh, the kind what'll sweep a man overboard and drag him under for he knows it. That's accepted. Da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now we go. Wait, we go. Oh, Royal Promenade. Ulda. Hmm. Yeah. Back at the Royal Promenade. Off to Ulda. Can Again. you imagine the this whole everything we've done so far, but without fast travel? No. You just have to like get on a griffin and fly to each place in real time. <laughs> Ugh. That was probably in one of the real. worst things in WoW, honestly. I'm still kind of amazed that they've still committed to flight paths. Like it was they like an entire reputation. Oh yeah, it was an yeah. entire reputation grind just to get the ability to have my my fucking like faction town thing ha finally grow a portal to the capital city of the expansion because it was a, it was a one way portal. Or no, yeah. I have because I have my hearth set there, but I have to fly back and forth between each place every single time. It's just like why why is this still yep. a thing? I mean they, uh, yeah, it's uh. And Every I single location remember. in the current expansion is an arbitrary separate dimension from all the other ones, but you still have to like weirdly fly through space for like a while to each one. I still remember doing the reputation quests for Warlords of Draenor and Legion to actually be able to fly. Oh god. Ugh. Never again. Anywho. We have been waiting for you, hero. The celebration is due to begin shortly. I had hoped that we might make our introductions together. But Mistress Mamodi just sent word that you are needed at the quicksand. Why? Why can't nobody just call us and let us know this before we come here? We will go on ahead, hero. Pray join us once the matters at the quicksand are resolved. Okay. Did you really need a cutscene for that? Why am I here? Thankred! <gasps> What's like the point of this? Uh, give me my regard. Yep. Give me my regards to Marmody, and let her know that I will call upon her anon. Sure. Uh, I mean, chat has no, been no, repeatedly no, no. warning us all evening that, that, that like an hour-long cutscene is going to start soon. Yep. So here we go. <laughs> what? 
I don't know. I don't know if I should I don't know be doing when because they've been saying the it the entire time. But <laughs> hooray! Yeah. Well, when when is it happening? Because I want to avoid it. <laughs> Maybe uh, it'll happen yeah, at the quicksand. <laughs> and considering it's one thirty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to start no fucking hour long. Where do we have to go? Uh, oh right, the quicksand, quicksand is is the. Lo right, I mixed it up with the waking. Yeah, I mixed it up with the waking the sands. The end, rather. I was like, why isn't the teleporter thing taking me? Why isn't the quest taking me to the the waking wow, I sands? I can't repair gear in Noob Game Plus mode. What? Jeez. Okay, fine. Never. You can't repair gear. I can't even talk to the gear arms mender in New Game Plus mode. I literally, I apparently can't do anything other than the quest. What? <laughs> That's funny. It makes zero sense whatsoever. That's your punishment. You're saying you can't repair gear? I can't repair gear. Why not? Not while you're on a quest. Well, no, what? I'm in New Game Plus mode. It's a, it's an entirely really? different mode. Yeah. I literally what cannot repair. I can't talk to him like it says. Uh, this game has weird limitations. New game Plus mode. What a yeah, weird it's, it's mess. Weird. Yeah, I know, right? Huh. All right, here we go. What, not what, script, what scripting is barely holding together here? I appreciate you <laughs> dropping in on such short notice, Hero. I know you've got place, places to be, so I won't waste your time. You're friends with the Crystal Brave by the name of Alian, aren't you? Former adventurer? Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure you recruited her yourself. Well, anyway, I came round for a meal not too long ago, and before she left, she asked me to give you a message. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast... Uh, I was to see you got it before you made your grand entrance. Meet me at the station west of Coffer and Coffin. There's something I must show you. A short message I'll grant you, but she thought long and hard before picking up the, those words. Uh, barely touched her food, too. Under those circumstances, I'd have thought those signs of a troubled heart. But something tells me she ain't planning to confess her undying love. I mean, you never know. In Central Thanland. Blackbrush Station. One, two, three, not it. Not paying for it. I literally, I don't, I don't give a shit. I literally just immediately click on it every time. Except. It's such a tiny nothing amount of money. It adds up. <laughs> it really doesn't, because everything we do gives us money. You say that now, and then and one I day have you won't have money. to spend my money on. <laughs> Well, the game asks for none of my money and rewards it with me con me with it constantly. Money, 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 money. Click. We also have people that just throw money at us. Well. I mean, that was once. Once. No, it's been multiple times. As, As you stand you upon stand the platform... Well, Okay. Your thoughts begin to wander, and all too soon the ghosts of comrades lost and enemies slain begin to file by your mind's eye oh, in solemn fuck. Is procession. This the long cut scene? Clearing your head, you scan the horizon but see no sign of Alien. Continue waiting for Alien. Straining your ears to listen, you hear the chatter of Kikirn and the buzzing of Sirfids. The cool rap but people. No approaching footfall. Sighing, you bow your head, only to notice the vial lying at your feet. Cutscene. Um, Laurentius, uh, that was... Who was that? I don't even remember. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take this one. I don't remember who Laurentius is. I... But it sounds familiar. I can't see his face right now, so I don't remember. Uh, Hero, is that you? What brings you out this way? Uh, oh. Oh, he, okay. oh, he's not very memorable. <laughs> I just remember oh, his no, name. No, here. Never mind. Yeah, he, 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 he asked us to come over here. Lieutenant Elian, or Alian? Why? Well, no, I haven't seen her about. Had she come this way, I guaranteed we would have crossed, uh, crossed paths. Must have passed this spot a dozen times. We're to patrol the city's end ruins on account of the royal banquet. Captain's orders, you understand. Speaking of which, isn't it about to begin? You should be with the other honored guests, enjoying your well-deserved respite. I pray to return to Ulda, hero. 
If I chance to meet the lieutenant, I will tell you, or, or tell her, ugh, I will tell her you were here. Goodness. That's a look of, you shouldn't be here, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> we just found out of the first and third taking bribes, and we're like, eh, no, I'm not going to question this. It's me, the okay. trustworthy ally. Oh no, this must be the long cutscene. That's something. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line. Through my weakness, the glorious house of Ul has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. Forgive me, but I know not what else to do. Show the vial to Momadi, who is... yeah. Hit him back. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be the long cutscene. And people keep saying it'll warn us. What? Well, how is it gonna warn us? I don't know. It'll it'll give us a message I'm saying, saying this cutscene will. Yeah, we recommend that you take the time to view this cutscene, as it will take a long time. It's it's something along those lines. Make sure and grab some snacks and a blankie. It's going to be a long journey. I'm excited. Can't wait. Come on. I reckon you'd head straight to the feast after meeting with Alien. What's the matter? No appetite? Here's a vial. So she wasn't there, but this was. Eh, let's see. Hmm. Looks to me like an alchemist vial, but beyond that, I can't say. Might be best if you could hold on to it for safekeeping, though. Any road, no use worrying about Alien. I'm sure she'll turn up before too long, and when she does, we'll soon find out this is all what this was all in aid of. Besides, you've got more important things to think about. Literally all the time. <laughs> People keep saying that to us, and yet. <laughs> Would you believe that while you were away, another message arrived for you? I was not away. Well, one did. One delivered by the Sultana's handmaiden, no less. Seems her grace desires a private audience. Her handmaiden will meet you on the royal promenade and escort you to the Sultana's chambers. So what are you waiting for? Go on, then. Go. Oh, cuts again. Oh, instant. Apparently. Oh, and it's going to be voice. There's sound. You needn't trouble yourself, so. Your grace is most kind, but it is no trouble to me, rather an honor. If your grace is ready, I shall summon the warrior of light. I am. A lot more people here than I thought there would be. Everyone looks to be in high spirits. With good cause. A common victory may serve to unite even the most unlikely of allies. You've brought us one step closer to a united Eorzea. Your modesty knows no bounds, Antecedent. Were it not for your efforts, Sir Emmerich would never have become such a steadfast ally. 
When he convinces his countrymen to rejoin the Alliance, we shall all reap the benefits, military and economic. I tell you, we are on the cusp of a new era of unity and prosperity. Territorial disputes are all that divide us now. But I have faith that we will find an amicable solution in time. And failing that, I'll have my trusty warrior of light box the ears of all concerned. Speaking of whom... Yeah, just describe me like a dog. will be joining us shortly. A matter at the quicksand required his attention, but it did not sound serious. Oh, it didn't teleport us there. Nope. Weird. Yeah, they just... Motherfucker just smugly describes us like we're his pet dog that he can sick on people, and that's why he's so strong. <laughs> God, he's so insufferable all the time. Yeah. And I suspect really he doesn't get any better. Not until I mean, you should know. You've already gone through this. Well, I, I don't know. I skipped all the story so that I would be refreshed. Yeah. Which is I, funny because I, skipped, that, I have wait, no idea what happened. You skipped all the story? Yes, yeah, wait, I have no idea what happened. He's explained past that like a we dozen times. Oh, <laughs> what the I'm fuck? Sorry. I have no idea what's happening. I'm experiencing all of this for yeah, the first time. Yeah, he keeps saying that. Oh. He, yeah, well, he doesn't he, get better. He gets only worse. He's doing it. With, sure. He's doing it with us. Yeah, so he hasn't been following he's the a, story. He's a crucial part of the next. I expansion. wonder what percentage of players skip all the story just in general. Oh my uh, god, my first time I played, I so did, because there's no so fucking many, that's way. so many Final Fantasy. That's so many MMO players in general. And yes. my audience will immediately be like, No one does, and no one would ever do that. You're, you're wrong. I I did it. <laughs> they like to, they like to correct me, but no, <laughs> definitely. People will just skip the whole story. Yeah, I did that in WoW a lot. Anywho. Uh. Thank you for coming, madam. Her grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment of, to compose yourself before your audience, you may have it. Or, if you're ready, it would be my honor to escort you to Her Grace's chambers forthwith. This is the final time. Upon proceeding to the Sultana's bedchamber, <laughs> several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside <laughs> sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their entirety. No. <laughs> oh, that's a. I, it is 1.40 in the morning. That's a pretty significant warning. I guess we're going to yeah, leave her it. as the lady in waiting for about a week. Bye. <laughs>